Coming in. Look who's back. Good morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that merry girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her, anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. No doubt. Oh, I don't know. First Jack, now Tilly? This isn't good, Arthur. It happens, ain't nothing new. These things happen sometimes. Hell, they've happened to you. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Lost. 
and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> I'll take that. Are you going in there or not? Shit! What the hell you think you're doing? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! <sighs> Yeah. 
word on this bastard. Yeah! Make sure you tie him up real good. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. <clears throat> You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a... So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. Doing better. Well, don't let me bother you. Sure. You okay, <laughs> boy? Oh. 
Are we millionaires yet, Mr. Strauss? Good morning, Arthur. Fuck is, I'm tired. You okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in town. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Okay, speak later. <laughs> All right, Arthur. What? Mary Beth. Hi there. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. <clears throat> Don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. Uncle. I think. Not the best of food, but pretty nice. Hang in there. We'll be back on track soon. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't worry about me. Gentlemen, Arthur Morgan. Hey, good to see you. If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Just a suggestion. All right, then. Ah, that's the ticket. I guess. Always good to see you. Why don't you just sit down instead of milling about the place? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. No reason. Just making sure. Okay, Arthur. My fault, Sadie. Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Okay. I'm turning up here.
friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint-Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! Oh, I shot on that bar! Quick, behind here! Keep up! Keep up! Follow me! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas... You... shat on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey. We go through here. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! <laughs> I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Huh. Okay, I'm moving. Come on. So, wait. You ain't sold none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. A new kind? The whole in the We go through there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this way, to the end of the docks. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue... Hush! Was hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <sighs> bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. Uh, I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that... Look at you, pretty little thing. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <sighs> we made 
find it. Let's go. Oh no. no, 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 no. Hey. Uh, I got him. He's out here. Uh, more friends. I'll do. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Happy to assist you in a moment. Nothing like a fresh start. May I help?
machines are not the problem. It's the people who use them. Hey there. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Hmm. Thank you. is an integrated system, and we are destroying it. Our actions, our greed, matter. And science will save us, or it will kill us. For we, this, everything is science. So don't live in ignorance. I hardly believe it. I got thrown out of university because I spoke the truth. And the truth is, we have not got a clue about anything. Wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it. Hello, mister. I hardly believe what I just saw. with you momentarily. May I help you? A lot of concentration going into doing this job right. Nice to see some new faces through here. Let me know if you got questions. See you later. What? You leave something behind? Farewell on your travels. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. 
Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Ready? Aim. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir, while our current... Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir! Shoot the wretch! I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Please. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? Nope, my sweet. Hey! You... There! Stop a minute, please! I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. I'm getting real worried, mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? All right. Guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man. Bless you. I I'm gonna keep looking around the cabin. Th that's where I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. Tucker! Tucker! Shout if you can hear me! Girl? Where are you, you fool? I I'm scared! Christ, you can't be out here this long. <laughs> Tucker, where the hell are you?
Yep. over on a rock. <laughs> Listen, friend. <clears throat> you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God! Yeah. on my worst enemy. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> 